This is Apple Gamer 21st time we come at you guys with a video for IG360 today and today is the official video for my video editing series. Today we're going to be starting with iMovie and how to do basic edits on starting a project and exporting and standard definition and also in a full HD. So first thing I want you guys to do is open iMovie up and mine should take a little bit longer than most people because I do have a, a few projects. Um, if you're just starting out or if this is your first time opening iMovie you should get a few prompts to um, set your screen ratio and stuff. I recommend that you put it at large and then um, you should be good to go from there. So basically how I got my iMovie set up is to go over the design, this is a video I'm working on, is that most of the time this will be backwards. Your projects will be down here. Your projects will be down here, but your timeline and everything will be up here. I like to switch that around. So if you hit this button right here, you do get the ability to switch things around. So this is the way I'm pretty much used to editing. So this is the way I'm gonna keep it. This is going to be your project library over here. This is going to be your canvas and this is going to be your timeline. And over here, you got all your projects. So to start a new project, you hit the plus button down the corner, as you can see right here. And I'm going to call this, um, I juice, I can spell it right, video, um, room movie. All right, you can call everyone. That's just what I'm going to do it. Um, the screen ratio, I do recommend you keep it at uh, 16 by 9 wide screen if you want if you want uh, put it in HD. But if you're gonna do standard definition, four by three would be just fine. If you live now, this is a part right here for the frame rate. If you live in the U.S. and Canada, you want to keep your frame rate at, at 30 frames per second NTSC. If you live in the U.K. or in Europe, you want to you want to put it at 25 frames per second PAL. And if you're gonna do cinema, um, which most people never do, which is 24 frames, so I recommend keeping an NTSC. And this is what it should look like. And you can automatically add um, transitions here, but I'll talk about that in a few other videos. And um, we'll talk about trailers, not kind. And um, for themes, I'm gonna go with the standard theme, so there's no theme attached to it, and we're gonna hit create. So after you have this, you got your blank canvas over here and your blank screen. So the way you import some movies is that you go to the file button, you go to import movies, and then I have mine all saved to the desktop. So I have two movies right here. Now if you click on one, you get a preview of it right here. But if you want to select two at once, you hit shift and then go down with your second arrow key and then select the two clips. Now uh, for, uh, for iMovie that put the clips in an order for you, you had to make what's called an event, which the event is a place where all your video files are stole or stored. So I'm gonna call this uh, iMovie uh, Juice, but you can call this whatever you want. I'm just doing it for the sake of this video. Uh, make sure you keep this at full size. Make sure you don't click large. Make sure it's at full size so it gets the entire resolution. And uh, after you save it to whatever destination you want, I'm gonna save it to uh, my main hard drive and just hit import. So this should take a little bit because they're full HD. Actually, it's going pretty fast. So I'll let you guys watch in real time and see how this long it takes. But um, usually, depending on the size of your clip and how long it is, it does take a while. I have clips that go for over an hour because of the length and then the resolution at full HD. So depending on your size and your CPU, uh, you will be waiting here for quite a while or be sitting here um, not, not that long as I'm doing. So it's just gathering the thumbnails and stuff like that as of this moment. So after you got your true clips, as you can see, I got this kayaking video here that um, I got off of stockfootage.com um, and also got this time lapse Matlin video that I also got from the same place. So to put these in your timeline to make it play, all you gotta do is select your in and out points. Now what your in and out points are is that they're um, certain parts that you want your movie to start and then you want your movie to end. Say I want to select the entire clip. I just drag the yellow bars, as you can see right here, all the way to the end of the clip. And then it's that easy. All you do is drag it up into the timeline and it makes your project. Now there's no audio with this movie, so I can't go audio tutorials, but um, I will talk about that in, my, in a future video. But if you want to play your movie, all you have to do is hit the space bar and you're playing your movie at full resolution and it looks pretty good. Now, if you have mixed colors, uh, that'll be a Final Cut Express tutorial, or Final Cut Pro um, color correction. But for right now, um, you just want to keep it the same. So after that's all done, say you want this, and then you want to add your um, mountain clip or whatever clips you got, just take to do the same process. Um, so I'm gonna select the whole clip and just hit that. And this empty space right here, so if you want to put a transition, I'll talk about transitions in a future video, but it should look like this right now. So you guys watch it.
then it goes off into the mountain. So that's basically how you do this. Now say you want to cut out the last part of this video, probably about right here is what you want to cut out. So all you gotta do is go up into your clip and start dragging the yellow bar to what you want to cut out. So if this is the part that you want to cut out, um, make sure you play it over, hit the space bar to play. Make sure this is the part you want to cut out, and then you all you have to do is hit, you have to right click, and then you have to hit delete selection. And that's all you do, and it breaks your clip up, and then what you can do is you can um, play your clip, and then as soon as it gets to that um, space in between here, I will see right now, it's going to skip over it. So what you do is you can delete this out, and there, you get your 7 second clip here. Sorry about that guys. Um, but, and there you go. So say I want to um, move this clip, say I want to do the same thing to this clip, but I want to delete a major portion of it, say like this 3 second half of it, I've got 8 second clip, I said delete selection, as I did, and there you go, you um, do your, and then there, there's your movie. So the, basically the way you export it, is that if you go to um, the share menu, and you hit um, export movie, you want to export quick time, you want to hit export movie, then name whatever you want. I'm gonna call this a uh, final video. And depending on the size you want, you can um, put it as a mobile resolution that will work on the iPhone, the iPad, um, Apple TV, iPods, uh, probably the video iPods, not the um, new multi-touch ones. Uh, medium works the same way. Large only works over a few devices. Uh, the dots are right here are for the devices that support for. And the one that we want to play with is HD video. Um, I like to upload my videos in 720 HD, at least my main ones for my other channels. But for iJuice, I'm going to make a special and I'm going to click 1920 by 1080p resolution. And this should make a large file and pretty much supports every device. So all you got to do is hit export and then let this render out. So um, go get a cup of coffee and I will come back, you get, come back at you guys when it's done. All right guys, after your clip is done, you'll probably get this little HD by 1080 or 720 depending on that, what resolution you do if I can talk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize iMovie. I'm gonna show my icons or camouflage because I show my I, I refuse to show my icons. But um, as soon as this loads my icons, it should show you the movie. So as you can see, the final video that we made is right here, it's got final video, and I'm going to open it, double click it, it should come up in uh, QuickTime Player, or VLC, or whatever program you're using, it should be in the HD, so you can watch this, and you can send it to YouTube, or uh, Vimeo, whatever site you want to upload to, so that's my first uh, official iJuice360 video for you guys, the full download episode will be down in the corresponding blog post on iJuice360.tk, and remember guys, if you like what you see here, uh, please subscribe to iJuice, and if you can do me a huge favor and subscribe to my other channels I've been starting, I have my current tech um, channel, my Apple Gamer 24 7 channel, which would be down here. And I started a new channel, which is my gaming channel, which is all about gaming 24 7, which talks about video games and stuff related to gaming that I don't use to talk about on Apple Gamer, but I will be talking about on all about gaming 24 7. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to check out the blog post if you want to download this episode, and I will see you guys later.